Hello. Welcome to what is effectively a documentary of my suffering. As you can see, we have a few trinkets, some gadgets, and a giant ball, right? I'm currently doing a mission to repair a damaged sentinel ship. It's a B-class. It's pretty nice. Worth a good 40 million dollars or something. You know, nothing crazy. The thing I'm supposed to get to is in there. In the ball. So, instead of giving up, like a sane person, I decided to start working. First, I put a teleporter down there, connected to that one, tried teleporting in. Sent me to the top, right? That's fine. I tried putting it over here, did the same thing. Nothing crazy. Makes sense that it would do that. So, what I did next was I got further underneath it. I did some stuff down here. I put a, I put a building. I put some more teleporters down. I got really heady with it, right? And I, I, I've been doing this for about two hours at this point. It is it is 11.37. I mean, I'd show you when my last save was, but, you know, that's... I mean, you can see the difference between the autosave and the restore point. I guess it... I don't know. I don't know if it was two hours. I have, honestly I haven't been paying attention. But... I was like, well, shit. I need to get to that, or else I'm going to be soft-locked and I can't do these missions anymore. And the ship I have here, I love how it looks. Uh, it's color. It's great. So, I went oh, back over here and I put a sofa in here. It's gone now, obviously, but I put a sofa in there. And you know what? I got inside. Granted, it put me at the top, but I was in there for one beautiful second. So, I put a sofa up there, right? And now it's going to be a bit of a mess in here, but let me let me show you my thought process as best as I can. So first I do this. I'm like, okay, good start, and then I do this. I get up. I'm in it. <laughs> I'm in the fucking orb, right? So, let's let's just take... So the first path we can't really go to because I, uh... It's covered. <laughs> Um, but let's just take the second path I went. Gets teleported to the top, right? Go figure. And I'm thinking, well, this should be, you know, this shouldn't be how this works because you can easily get out of it. You know, just get it, get out the same way you got in, you know? It can't be that hard. It's not. It's not that hard at all. And I, I appreciate that they made a system where if you're out of bounds you get put in bounds right great system it's very very good but they forgot one key feature don't let things spawn inside of out of bounds areas you know without a way of getting in or out and again obviously this is can, this is this can be combated by just trying stuff okay anyway then I started using my Nomad, because you can reach it from here, you can drive it around all you fucking want, and I was like, great, this is great. I can get inside of the, th of the fucking thing, I can get up to the fucking thing, I can get out, I can get it, be done, right? Wrong. You get out of the thing, it spits you out at the top. Makes sense, it does, and I again, I appreciate it. There's my, there's my car, I got stuck in a tree. Um, so I'm thinking like, okay, car doesn't work. I try that. I try the bigger car. Didn't work either. Same fucking thing. Oh, there's the sofa. Is that it? No, that's, that's one of my fucking, that's one of my, found, my foundations. Okay. So anyway, I'm like, okay, if I can use a sofa to get in, then I should be able to use a sofa to get through the teleport spots. Didn't work. So, I scrapped it. Then I was like, okay, what if I just walk across beds? Didn't work. I got to the end of that bed. Uh, there's a bed there. I got to the end of that bed, get teleported. I was like, okay, what if I walk, around, walk across foundations? I got around there. Pretty good. Got kicked out. 
pretty much when you get to a certain point, if you touch the air at all, you get teleported. I'm like, okay, okay. I need to think. So what do I try next? I go up. And look at this. Look at this. You can get so far, but the minute you let go... Okay. Yeah, there it is. That's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> you get teleported. The minute you let go of space bar or A button, whatever, you get teleported out. The first time I tried it, though, I've never, I haven't been able to recreate it. The first time I tried it, I fell all the way down to the thing. And immediately got teleported out before I could press E. And that would have been an easy enough fix, right? But no, 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 no. I got teleported out before I could press E, like I said. So I'm sitting in here. I'm sitting right here. I'm fucking stewing up brain ideas. I, you know, I keep going up. I keep trying to find the right angle to land. Nothing's working. Whatever. So then... Move along over here a little bit. Around here. I built a bunch of platforms. Tested some stairs. Got pretty far. In fact, if it works the same way it did before, I got so far that I was confident enough to build more stairs. So I did. Okay, well, it didn't work like that. I got all the way to it. Point is, there's no such thing as a full stop in your life, you know? <laughs> I'm not going to turn this into some... I got shots. I got fucking... I don't think this is ever going to see the light of day, but... I got a flu shot and a COVID shot today. I am fucking tired. I had coffee, and that wore off a while ago after I woke up at, like, 9 in the morning after going to bed at 5 in the morning because I have a bad sleep schedule because of this fucking game. Um, so I'm fucking exhausted. And this was a really fun challenge. I have to be really honest with you. Um, this, this game in general is just, I, I mean, I don't know what to say about it that hasn't already been said. It's just, it's amazing. You know, even when you don't expect to <laughs> find things. That's crazy. But like, I didn't expect for my whole night to revolve around doing this. I didn't expect me to have to use 100% of my brain. I thought that was Jesus. It kind of looks like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I didn't expect to use my full brain to fucking figure this out, right? You know, Like, I had to use all of my game sense. All my gamer knowledge and my fucking brain to figure this shit out. I mean, I can't get the knowledge stones. I'm kind of upset about that. I'm going to try it, though. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I guess I just got really lucky because now I can't even recreate the magic. But it doesn't matter. All you need to do is recreate the magic one time. Uh, there we go. I was pressing the wrong button. Alright. You know what? I'll probably end up posting this on YouTube. If I ever get big enough, or if anybody sees this, and you want to come check this out, this base is called um, there you go out of bound suffering uploaded um, I know there's a way to show the planet code yeah there it is there's the planet code down there if you want to come fucking if somebody see, someone sees this somehow and you want to come check my suffering out, fucking go for it. Innovate on it. I don't know if you can build on here, but do it, you know? <laughs> build on this bitch. Use your fucking brain. I should, like, make the entrance really obvious. Access ramp. No, I can't. Uh... Just put a single viewing sphere down, why not? Great. One little red bit there. Fuck yeah. We do like a supply pipe. I don't know. I don't I I don't I'll just do lights. That's the easiest option. Oh right, there's no power. <laughs> Uh, 
trying to make it the most noticeable thing possible. I can make the fucking Olympics logo. Hell yeah! Ah, oh, I love having ADHD. <laughs> there you go. Merry fucking Christmas. Perfect. If you if you miss that, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Let me pull one of these up because I don't like seeing the wires. Perfect. Anyway, there you go. Happy holidays or some shit. 